So core mindfulness skills are the skills that sort of help to stabilize yourself. They're like um, the equivalent of, of core musculature for people who do physical training. They're like building up your core so that you can tolerate things, so that you're stronger with all of the other skill sets. So core mindfulness, are, which are come, come out of mindfulness training, but it really are just sort of practical skills to try to get yourself re-regulated, balanced, widen your awareness, and strengthen your attention. Next. The next thing within DBT, which most of you would know, but if you don't know DBT at all, you might not, but I gave you an example of a behavioral chain uh, of my own this morning um, and uh, how I got into it and how I got out of it. And that's the key. DBT therapists think in terms of chains. This is the way we scan people's situations. This is the way we gather data about a, a difficult episode, about a difficult emotion, emotional episode. This is how we put our data together. This is our laboratory. This is the way we organize reality. It isn't the only way to organize reality, but it is a DBT way, and it's a behavioral way, which goes in chronological order from the left to the right, where vulnerability factors are like all those things that made me vulnerable this morning before I even account encountered the prompting event. So then a prompting event comes along and the prompting event this morning was when I discovered my computer didn't work. Then there's links in the chain, which is all those things you then do once the prompting event hits the vulnerable person. And then you might, and you have certain thoughts. You may judge yourself, you may get angry, you may have emotional dysregulation, you may get really anxious like me and a little bit panicky, a little bit frenzied. Uh, so those are links in the chain leading up to the problem behavior. In the case of my chain this morning, there was no particular problem behavior that I went to, thank God. I don't know what I would have done if that last attempt starting the computer didn't work, but uh, that was a solution behavior. And that helped regulate the whole chain. Now I was off on a new chain at once I found a solution, but the problem behavior would have been if I did something really dysfunctional at that point. Like I called Ken and said, hey, guess what? I'm not doing this webinar. All hell's breaking loose here at my house and I can't do the webinar. That would have been a dysfunctional outcome. That would be what we'd call the problem behavior. And then there's the consequences of the problem behavior. So this is the typical, and I'm not gonna teach more of this now because I'm gonna show you a video 25 or so minutes at the end of this teaching segment of a behavioral chain analysis of a teenager who cut herself one evening. And so we're gonna be able to see it unfold step by step. But you need to know about this. Why do you need to know about this? Because of skills? Because what you're doing essentially with skills is a sort of a uh, replacement of dysfunctional links in the chain. These five components of the chain have within them the links of the chain. That's the lingo we use. Each li there's links and there's sequences of links. And when you have a dysfunctional sequence or a dysfunctional link, you're, as you go through something with your client or, or in your own life, you then see where the dysfunctional links are and you start to think, oh, what could be done instead of this? What could I replace this dysfunctional area with? It's sort of like doing hip replacement. I had hip replacement surgery three years ago. You know, the x-rays and my clinical presentation demonstrated that there was a replaceable part. There was a problem. And it was the kind of problem, thank God, that it's possible to come up with a replacement. Skills are the replacements in DBT, and they replace links in the chain. So this is cr a critical part of thinking about, about skills, use of skills. At the end of tomorrow, I'm going to be going over with the same client with a video how you would build a little replacement plan and have her practice new skills in that chain. 